Signing A 2010, Coach John Stegelmeyer at South Coast State is here. Uh, Coach, first of all, just give us your overall impressions of the class. I believe 21 guys, seven South Dakotans, which, as you just pointed out to me, is the most since since 2003. What are your overall impressions? What jumps off the page at you? I think the biggest thing was the, the amount of linemen that we uh, went after and that we were able to sign. Uh, good linemen. Again, we talk about guys above the line. These guys are above the line. and. And uh, we've secured the foundation, I think, of our program because that's, that is in the lineman. Uh, and then I, I, I think the, uh, just the, to be honest with you, the hard work that our assistants put in jumps off to me the, the number of miles and hours and calls they made to, to get these 21 guys. Uh, we were speaking before I turned the camera on here, and, uh, and you mentioned that this year was a little unique in that not only did you make the playoffs, um, you, you had the Dyke House Center coming in, you're, you're trying to fill assistance slots. There were a lot of new things that created a little bit of a time crunch. How much of a challenge was that to deal with the recruiting process on top of all that, which is a challenge in itself? Yeah, well, if you look at my organizational skills here in the <laughs> office, uh, uh, you know, I, I think it was very stressful. I know it was very stressful. The, 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 the personal touch you wanted to put into recruiting to get to know kids and them to get to know you, I think is tremendously important. Uh, that's what South Dakota State's about. You got two uh, coaching openings that you're trying to fill and, and fielding uh, calls. You, you got decisions on the Dykow Center every every day. You have some decisions, and I we joked about which outlet needs to be turned on. I mean that that all went through this office, and so uh, there were a number of nights I told my wife, I don't know about this job right now, but uh, I'm blessed to be in this role, and I'm excited about all those things that occurred during this time. Your wife's going to like the way this mess looks in high definition, by the way. Uh, <laughs> I'd be remiss to not ask about the South Dakota kids, though, and certainly Austin Sumner heads that list, and, and his uh, record is impeccable, and who knows, if not for the, the shoulder surgery, he may have he may well be signing with the Wisconsin or whatever today. Talk about what he brings to the table and just what a unique kid he is in terms of his production and his just his size. Well, uh, production is unbelievable, you know. Uh, again, the elements he plays in and, and things like that. Uh, Size-wise, to be able to see the field, and then he's a smart football player, so he's going to see it and it's going to slow down for him. But, but beyond those two things, when I sat in the home and listened to his parents talk about the number of things he's involved in and how he touches people in the Brandon area, the community, in terms of the type of young man he is, I, I was really excited because those are the kind of guys we look for. And, and he, will, he, will, he will be a great addition in every phase uh, for our football program. We'll let you off the hook with that today, and but you'll be back with us tomorrow on the live chat from 2 to 3 at ArgusLeader.com.